Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. We're back out on the patio today. I wanna to play with APRS. My friends over at Vero have been sending me these radios and I keep wanting to get a red one. And I think at this point, I think they're just messing with me. Either way, there is gonna be some giveaways on these radios. So if I don't get a red one, maybe you can get the color that I get today. Let's see. Oh, not red. Let me get the shrink wrap off. It's blue. It's a pretty cool looking color though. I like that. Before, before I did yell that. Contractually obligated to remove all screen protectors. That's actually a pretty nice looking color. I like that. I mean, it's not red, but I still like it. All right. So what we're going to do today is we are going to play with the APRS iGate uh, Android software. They do have software for iPhones as well. I just don't happen to have one, so I can't demonstrate that for you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it up to the Farad J from my buddy Ham Radio Rookie, Ben. He says he can't keep these things in stock. They are just flying off the shelf. So be sure that you get one. And if he's out of stock, make sure that you check back again and try and order it again and again and then until you get one, because it's pretty awesome. But uh, now we are connected to the Farad J up on the mast that I showed you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this thing on. Oh, that's right. These things come from the factory. They come in the box with the battery attached. And so that is probably why they have this thing about them where the battery's got a little protective piece of plastic over it, you know, some scotch tape or something. So I get to do two peels in the video. This video is now doubly appealing. All right, so we put the battery back on and hey, look at that, it works. All right, 73% charge from the factory, awesome. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this thing into, I'm gonna hit the menu button. I'm gonna go to, I think it's general settings, connection. I'm gonna turn on pairing. And now it is pairing. And we're gonna switch over to the phone. I'm gonna get the screen recording set up on the phone. And I'm gonna get the app launched. And the app is called HT. What a great name for an app. So we're kind of just gonna play along with the app and try and figure it out together. I don't know 100% about all the different features of the APRS stuff, but I always like to play around with things live and kind of go through like what it would be like if it were you that was playing with it. So let's go look at the phone screen and play along and see what we can figure out. And it's asking to pair a new device and I bet I've taken too long and the pairing mode is off. I'm gonna pair a walkie talkie and it is scanning. Is the radio still in pairing mode? It is now, there it is, we found one, bind it. And I would like to pair, and now we are paired. That was fairly simple. So we are disconnected and reconnected. And I guess the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is program in an APRS channel. I'm gonna edit the channel, I'm gonna call it APRS. I'm gonna give it a frequency in the US, this is 144.39. I'm gonna hit okay. Transmit power is high, that's what I want, and I'm gonna leave all the other settings blank and we're gonna see if that does the thing. So I'm gonna click the dots and save it. And I'm gonna pick that channel. And if you look on the, well, that proved it. We just heard some APRS signals coming in. If you look on the radio, it has already switched over to APRS. If I use my phone, I'm gonna go to channel 14 and we've now changed to 439.075. I'm gonna go back to APRS. And we're back on APRS. Somewhere in here, I need to turn on some APRS settings. Oh, nope, I don't need to turn on anything. I'm just on the channel and it automatically worked. Check that out. It has given me some map coordinates. This is, this is where I'm at in St. Croix Falls, right on the river. And then whenever I get a signal in, that one just moved, I get another, I get a straight line over to where I heard that signal from. Okay, let's go into, People, there we go, K9GCC-10 just came in three seconds ago. Who's this? Don't know. So I got WE1NA, N0RUA, N34FT. I wonder if that's, huh. I bet that's his tail number on his plane and he's beaconing his aircraft tail number. But if he's a ham, it's perfectly legal to do that. Yeah, KD0FYG, awesome. I never thought about doing that, that's pretty cool. Get up in the air and map your flight path, that's pretty cool. So what can I do, can I see? I can see where he's at on the map. He doesn't appear to be going very far. That's pretty cool. All right, let me see if I can send a message. 
These are all the messages that are coming in. I can't hear that either. This is pretty slick. All right, let's look at some settings, see where I can find the settings. There is ID signaling. ID signaling over the radio, I can send out my identification, identification information. I can send out my location. Oh, I can turn that off, I like that. Uh, ID signaling over the internet, I can turn on or off my location. I can allow a position check. Automatically share location via the internet or via radio. So this thing is a DigiPeter and an iGate, which is pretty slick. Send power voltage. Internet sharing, radio sharing, use APRS for me. Yes. APRS settings. I thought I was in APRS settings. All right, KM9G-15, that's my passcode. And I typed in my passcode when we were playing in Dayton with the Radiodity GA-5WB radio, which is the exact same radio, just with a Radiodity sticker on it. Um, so that should be the right passcode. Let's verify. The password is correct. I guess it is. Okay, I, I heard a APRS tone. I thought that might have been me beaconing over the network, but it's not iGate service is turned on, server North America, radio to internet, yes. Internet to radio, sure. Receive messages via internet, sure. Receiving range, a thousand kilometers. Auto share location over the internet, no. Location source, system. Or I can select coordinates, awesome. Good enough. Interval, one minute. Icon. There's a lot of icons to choose from. Let's pick that one. A house with a zero on it, why not? Send operating frequency, 144,390. I should be able to customize that frequency. Listening, 146.52. Five, two. And then you can turn on or off the iGate service so you don't have to be doing iGating if you don't want to. Save your data. I am currently connected to Wi-Fi, so I'm not worried about it. All right, that looks like enough settings there. Offline maps, that's cool. Offline maps, satellite from Google. Let's add. So there's Schaefer. Okay, let's download those maps. That seems like it'll take a while. Simple mode. I don't like things simple. I like things difficult. That's why I'm a ham radio operator. Imperial units for all you wackos out there. Keep screen on, save voice history, microphone gain. These are all the radio settings. Morse code speed, I'll have to play with that too. Okay, so on the side of the application screen, we have a couple of functions. I'm gonna hit the zoom in. Yep, so that zoomed in. So I zoom back out and I can hear all these different people coming in. I think some of these might be coming in over the internet. I can't imagine. Well, I can definitely hear an airplane overhead, that's for sure. But I don't know if I can hear Bloomington, which is on the south side of St. Paul, which is over an hour away from here. The antenna is pretty high up in the air, so it could be possible. Let's turn on satellite. Let's go back to map. What is the star? That turns on and off all the icons. I'm gonna show the last 30 minutes. N3 F N34FT seems like he's still in the, in the airport. Let's see if I can zoom in over there. And we'll change that to, that's not the button I wanted. We'll turn it on to satellite. Is that an airport? Well, he is moving. <laughs> According to the icon, he's flying backwards. But definitely moving, going around in circles. That's pretty cool. So that was the track button, but I'm not going anywhere. So tracking me wouldn't be very much fun. KD0FYG flying the N34FT. Follow, send message, hearing you in St. Croix Falls. 
probably busy flying, he won't reply. Okay, so we did the layers, we did the location, we did the star that turns on and off the icons, we did the show the most recent, which is the clock, we did the track, but I'm not going anywhere, so there's no reason to track me. This is messages, so I can send a message to somebody specifically. Let's see if I can send one to W, X, B, O, T. And I'm just guessing at the format here. All right, so I sent it and it got picked up and it got act. Let's see the weather for Luck, Wisconsin. And there is people, pretty slick. It looks like it can do a whole bunch of different things. I like it. The giveaway for these non-red radios will be coming up on Monday night's Ham Nuggets live stream. So be sure you are subscribed to the channel and have the notification bell rang so you can know when the live stream comes on. But it's not hard to figure out. It is 6.30 p.m. Central every Monday night. And we do kind of the same thing that we're doing here. We play along with stuff in real time as a group and we hang out in the chat and everybody heckles me and tells me what I'm doing wrong or tells me how I'm doing things right, which is kind of rare. But that's the whole point of ham radio is to play with stuff and figure stuff out. So I hope to see you on the live stream. Well, there you have it, folks. APRS in your pocket. This is a pretty slick little device. I am pretty impressed with this. So digipeding, eye gating, sending messages back and forth, seeing real time where the different signals are coming from on the map, being able to switch between terrain, having offline maps downloaded. This is pretty slick little this is a pretty slick little device. I am digging this. There is a discount code for the radio in the description down below. There is also a link for Ham Radio Rookie's Farrah J antenna. This thing is doing fantastic and height is might and it is pretty far up there. I am having a lot of fun playing with this thing and I think you all will too. There's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.